So week six, day three already then. And it's the Paddy Power Dynabet Chase first up today. It's a grade one, three, one, three, four long race. And the top one is Charlie Two for Thomas Rogers, Coney Glenn for John Morgan, Lap of the Gods, Leon Van Rensburg, and Motifari Danai for Alex Cherry, Knickerbocker Glory, Joshua Sutherland. No more prisoners, Paul Road, Silver Bullet, Alex Cherry, the National Awaits, Joshua Sutherland, Vitruvian Hindsight, David Robertson, Watergate, Darren Thompson, Amethyst Lontana, Ryan Costello, Chingford Cross, and Dawn Runs for Hems, Recruiting Agent for Leon Van Rensburg, and Silk Daisy for Daniel French, called in and away in the rain then. And making their way towards the first of these fences and they will skip over that first one nicely they've got 19 to take it all today in this race past that brick wall thing a police on later couldn't we and it's a silver bullet in the lead from amethyst lontana in second watergate is third and they get back to coney glenn and knickerbocker glory running together with motifare dana as they take the second and all over that one vitruvian hindsight a little bit untidy at the back Two of these maybe new recruits, I think Vitruvian Hindsight probably is. I haven't recall commentating on that one so far this season. Amethyst Lontana then on the outside of Silver Bullet and Watergate as they take the third. And that leading three have pulled a couple of lengths clear of Water of uh, Knickerbocker Glory in fourth as they take the fourth fence. And they're all over that one except for Vitruvian Hindsight who crashes out at the back. So if it is its first race, not a particularly good start for that one. And Silver Bullet then in the lead. From Watergate second, Ryan Costello's Anathis Lontana is third as they take the fifth. And Knickerbocker Glories after that one. Then Coney Glenn, Motifari, Danai in the National Await. Silk Daisy is uh, after that one. And Charlie too. Chingford Cross as they take the sixth safely over that one this time with the two Leon Van Rensburg horses, Lap of the Gods and Recruiting Agent now the back two and Silver Bullet who's firing like a bullet at the moment in the lead Silver Bullet you know, probably I think he was going to be a grey wouldn't he but he isn't come down to this ditch so if you the other side of that one, one or two of them gave it a bit of a whack and Charlie too didn't jump it well and neither did no more prisoners. So a silver bullet then. By a couple of them to Watergate second. Then Amethyst Lontana and Knickerbocker Glory as they take the eighth. Oh, he nearly went there, the leader. Took a right liberty with that one and very nearly ended up on the deck. But he got away with it and silver bullet is in the lead. Watergate is second, Amethyst Lontana's third, Knickerbocker Glory's fourth, then Coney Glen, and then Silk Daisy getting closer on the outside. With Motifare Danai, the second of the Alex Cherry horses. And the rest of them are headed by the two Hems horses, Dawn Run and Chingford Cross. Then Lap of the Gods moving up nicely. The National Awaits has dropped back a little bit. And no more prisoners. It's towards the back with the recruiting agent and finally Charlie too. And then well inside the final two miles and now they can up past the big screen there and they'll shortly be going past the winning post. And they'll head out on one more complete circuit of the track. And as they come up past the post then for this first time it's Silver Bullet the leader from Watergate in second. Amethyst Lontana is third and Knickerbocker Glory is four. Coney Glen is five and Silk Daisy is six. Then Modifari Dane is seven and Lap of the Gods eight. Dawn runs nine and then Chingford Cross and then Recruiting Agent. The National awaits no more prisons and finally Charlie two as they get to this ditch and he's gone now the horse in second. Watergate's gone. So Watergate is out of the race as they take the 11th and a mistake there by the Ryan Costello horse and a faller as well. So Amethyst Lontana made the mistake and recruiting agent a faller for Leon. So a couple of fallers in quick succession there then. And Silver Bullet is clear of the riderless Watergate in second. And Coney Glen is the real horse in second. Then Amethyst Lontana has to take this next one. And over that one they go. They all got over that one. Although once again one or two were a little untidy. And Silver Bullet 
shows the way to Coney Glen, Amethyst Lontana, then Dawn runs, then Knickerbocker Glory in the lap of the gods, Silk Daisy, no more prisoners as they take that one, oh, got over that one okay as well, and Loose Horses right in the thick of it as well, I see they're standing in the background, that's where they're headed, and they've got nine furlongs to go, and five more to take as they jump over that one, and Silver Bullet is in the lead, as he has been pretty much all the way, he's two companion some earlier on Watergate one of them is still there but riderless and Amethyst Lontana has now dropped back to last so it's Silver Bullet in the lead then as they take this one and over that one they all go with Lap of the Gods moving nicely up into second the big guns are right behind Alex Cherry's Silver Bullet it's John Morgan Leon Van Rensburg and Joshua Sutherland all poised to pants as they take the 16th they're all over that one, okay, they've got just three more to take now, then the Silver Bullet still in the lead from Coney Glen, Lap of the Gods, Knickerbocker Glory, no more prisoners and Dawn Runs trying to get into it, so too's Motifare, Danai, as they race towards the final three fences then, in this dial a -bet chase, is a grade one, remember, and Silver Bullet is in the lead from Lap of the Gods, Coney Glen, Knickerbocker Glory, to no more prisoners as they take this third last that could be the final ditch they're all over it nicely and one making some ground on the outside is silk daisy but he's going to come the long way around and has actually now dropped back towards the back and it's silver bullet knickerbocker glory coney glen and no more prisoners lap of the gods the winner's probably going to come from this five i think as they take the second last and the leader didn't jump in all that well got away with it knickerbocker glory comes up on the outside of challenge no more prisoners looks to be going best of all but it's going to need a split Coney Glens after that one, so and then lap, lap of the Gods, Montefiore Dane trying to run on, but it's Knickerbocker Glory from No More Prisoners coming down towards the final fence then, and it's Knickerbocker Glory in the lead from No More Prisoners, then Coney Glen, then comes Lap of the Gods, Silver Bullets after that one, Montefiore Dane is chasing his stable companion, Silver Bullet for fifth row over the final fence, slow jump by Coney Glen, and it's Knickerbocker Glory and goes on, No More Prisoners, Knickerbocker Glory, Lap of the Gods is trying to close. They've still got a furlong to go. And it's no more Knickerbocker Glory in the lead from Lap of the Gods. No more prisoners now beginning to get up on the outside. No more prisoners. It's now Knickerbocker Glory, Lap of the Gods. Lap of the Gods just about a neck in front. It's Lap of the Gods. Knickerbocker Glory is trying to fight back. It looks like Lap of the Gods has got enough to take this one. And as they race up towards the run, it's going to be Lap of the Gods that's going to take it from Knickerbocker Glory in second. Tony Glenn third. Then no more prisoners. Chingford Cross ran on to be fifth. And Amethyst Lontana was the last one to finish. It's a win for Leon van Rensburg again. As we take a look at the connections, all those familiar colours, we don't really need the card, do we? Love of the Gods, Leon van Rensburg, the winner. Knickerbocker Glory, Joshua Sutherland, second. Coney Glen for John Morgan, third. No more prisoners, Paul Rhodes was fourth. And Chingford Cross for the line to be fifth for Hems.